A new study published by the CDC shows the Delta variant produces similar amounts of virus in vaccinated and unvaccinated people if they become infected. The study describes 469 Massachusetts residents who were infected in the July outbreak in Barnstable County, which includes summer vacation destination Provincetown. That study illustrates a key motivation behind the new CDC recommendation for most fully vaccinated Americans to now wear masks indoors again. An internal CDC memo initially obtained by the New York Times last night suggests the Delta variant is as contagious as chickenpox and more transmissible than the common cold, the flu, and smallpox. Tonight, Steve King's live in Palm Beach County. The important messages local medical experts want you to hear. Steve. Todd, well, local nurse epidemiologist Fennell Siegel says that the Delta variant of coronavirus, which the CDC says is 60% more transmissible than the previous variants, only got this bad because it was able to keep mutating. Now, she says if there was a higher vaccination rate, those mutations would come to a halt. The quicker we get everybody vaccinated that can be vaccinated, I fully understand, and so does everybody else in the field, that not everybody can get a vaccine, but the majority of people can. The sooner we're gonna get back to a completely normal way of life, but I don't see that happening unless we get more cooperation from the unvaccinated. Siegel explains that with the more transmissible Delta variant, it'll keep mutating at a high rate, especially since fewer than half of the people in the state and country are fully vaccinated. If we can stop the, the virus, from actually entering into that part of the, the, the body system where it actually thrives and it can just mutate and, and change itself. That's how we're gonna stop it. She says the antibodies from the vaccine would help stop that transmission from happening. That's how the vaccine works. If we have everybody vaccinated, or even if we have 85 or 90%, maybe even 80% of the population, it slows down the ability of that virus to go from person to person. She says in the meantime, while vaccinations continue to be encouraged, the new CDC guidance for indoor masking, regardless of vaccination status, is an important step in slowing the spread. But for some, even with the new guidance, they're not planning to put on a mask indoors anytime soon. No. I just feel we're covered with the vaccination. We're willing to take a chance, I guess. But Siegel says it's important for everyone to wear a mask because the unvaccinated are at risk for serious illness and the vaccinated are just as likely to spread the virus. During this Delta surge, I think it's extremely important that we go back to masking indoors because it's for your fellow being that's next to you, not so much for yourself, especially if you are vaccinated. Now, the White House COVID-19 response team says that more than 97% of hospitalized patients are unvaccinated and nearly all COVID-19 related deaths are people who were not vaccinated. Reporting live in Palm Beach County, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.